everyone, it's Sheila here with my weekly update. So, um, exciting end of the week because I'm about to take this piece to its new owner and it's going to its new home. So, um, that's very exciting. And thanks again to Vicky for buying it. Um, this week, I thought I'd share with you something I've been reading. I've been looking at this book, The, uh, the Story of Scottish Art by Lachlan Gowdy. It's a really beautiful book. Um, and I watched the TV series that was on a couple of years ago that accompanied it um, and it's really nice just um, taking some time and, and looking at art from your own country um, and I was brought up in Mid Argyll near um, quite a lot of the Neolithic cup and ring markings and standing stones that he talks about at the beginning of the book and it really reminded me of my childhood. I was brought up on a farm and we actually had standing stones and cup and ring markings on the farm. So they were kind of my uh, playground, if you like. And I've always been like everyone who sees them, kind of fascinated by what they meant and, um, you know, how people interacted with them thousands of years ago. So it's really lovely to go back to it. But also there is a lovely quote that I just want to read to you. And it says, Delighted to me to be on an island hill, on the crest of a rock, that I might often watch the quiet sea, that I might watch the heavy waves above the bright water as they chant music to their father everlasting. Now that was by St Columba, um, around about 500 BC. Uh, so no, not, not BC, 500 AD. He wasn't that old. <laughs> but it's just such a lovely quote. And um, last weekend I painted, I was trying to capture some of the... The clouds, I saw some amazing clouds when I was in Isla the other week and I just tried to capture some of that on paint and that, that little um, quote just really seemed to me to sum up um, about being on an island and, and trying to capture the waves as they as they crash down. Anyway, it's a lovely book and, and I'm really looking forward to um, going through more of it and reading more of it. So yeah, the story of Scottish art. Um, can't recommend it highly enough. So I hope you're all well. Um, thanks again for all the likes and shares on Instagram. Um, and the other thing I did this week, which is really exciting, is I went back to my life drawing class. How lovely to be in a studio with other artists and to do some drawing. It was great. A bit rusty, but I think my two 20 minute drawings were, were, were okay. Um, and yes, yeah, so I really um, enjoyed doing that because it's a bit like exercising for me, I think. It's kind of an artistic grammar in some ways. I do really love doing my life drawing. So uh, yeah, that's my week. Hope you're all well. Thanks again for all the likes and shares on Instagram. Remember, you can catch up with everything on the website, www.howshelasees.co.uk. If there's anything you'd like me to share or you're interested in any of my work, anything that I'm sharing on Instagram, then please do get in touch and take care and have a lovely weekend.